We turn now to politics. It is opening day for Republicans. The unofficial start of the race to the White House kicking off in Iowa today. So who are the big names that showed up and who did not? Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl reporting in tonight from the campaign trail. In Iowa today, I'm ready for Hillary. Are you? Enough possible presidential candidates to field a football team. But the day's biggest star, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, who famously battled unions and a months long occupation of his state capitol, and now sounds unmistakably like he has his eyes on the White House. In America, we value our independence from the government, not our dependence on it. But Donald Trump, yes, he's again talking about running, scored some of the day's biggest applause lines by attacking two big names who are not here today. So you can't have Romney, he choked. You can't have Bush. All told, a dozen potential Republican presidential candidates came to this forum, hosted by hardline anti-immigration Congressman Steve King. And there's at least another half dozen who are not here today. How many Republican candidates can you fit on a debate stage? Well, I guess that would depend on how big the stage is. And there's still plenty of time for more Republicans to think about running. The first in the nation Iowa caucuses are a full 53 weeks away. Cecilia? 53 whole weeks, John. Thank you. And be sure to tune in tomorrow morning to This Week with George for John's complete wrap-up of the Republican race and the rest of the week's top stories.